So let's begin by just getting your take on the state of the industry today. You've been the CEO of Star Alliance for around a year now. How are you reading the dynamic on the ground and some of the challenges that the industry is facing? Yeah, I, I think the industry is continuing to be uh, resilient. You're seeing uh, demand staying pretty strong globally. There are different movements in different geographies. Uh, but when you look at, for example, for our membership, our Star Alliance members, the transatlantic, which is a very, very important part of the business, that's up 6 or 7% still uh, this year. And then you'll find other geographies like in Asia, in particular North Asia, China, Japan, which they are lagging a little bit, but we're also seeing quite a significant uptake in recent months. So you've got different geographical dynamics in play, but overall uh, we're seeing the market holding up pretty well. What are the trends we can expect to see in the year ahead? Because IATA's own figures say it's likely to be a record year of aviation revenues, but also record costs. Yeah, I think we'll see that continuing. When you look at the economic indicators, that shows that the economies largely around the world are holding up pretty well. And when you see that, uh, air travel uh, continues to follow that. So I think uh, we'll continue to see some pretty strong improvements and a resilient marketplace. So Theo, talk to me about how you're growing the alliance as well. We know SAS is going to be leaving in the summer, but you are working on new inroads, seeking to build out Star Alliance and attract new members. So tell me who you have your eye on, what conversations you're having, and how this growth outlook is going to play out for you. Well, Dan, as you know, we are the largest uh, uh, airline alliance in the world. And so over the last five or six years, we've probably been more focused on the customer experience. Our, our membership uh, is robust. It covers all the geographies. You referenced Scandinavian leaving uh, the alliance and uh, for different business reasons, which we accept and respect, um, they have moved on. Uh, but I'm sure they're also proud to be one of the founding members of the largest alliance globally. But we've still got a very robust network. When you look at a place like Scandinavia, we've still got 17 members that serve that, 3,700 uh, flights per month, connecting to 1,100 destinations. So we're in good shape there. Our focus now is to make sure at the booking point, airport experience, connections, loyalty, it's those kinds of things that we're focused on to make it more effortlessly connecting for customers and making it more seamless. And that's where our core focus is at the moment. What about the Middle Eastern carriers? Do you see a day when we might see membership growing in this part of the world? Uh, look, we're always looking at opportunities into the future. Uh, we don't have anything to announce right now, per se, but we actually have multiple carriers from the alliance that serve the Middle East robustly. Uh, and as I said, we will always look at opportunities uh, into the future. Talk to me about some of the other initiatives that you're putting in, you've put in place uh, since becoming CEO. I know one of the core focuses within the industry right now is addressing these supply chain issues, that's one, but also number two is on sustainability and ensuring that the carbon footprint of the industry is being addressed. Can you talk to me about those two issues? First on the question of, of supply chain, um, what are you doing to try and uh, make sure that your members are getting the aircrafts that they need, make sure that they're getting the staff that they need and to reduce some of the bottlenecks in, in, in this industry? Yeah, these are very real challenges in the industry. We leave that to the individual uh, member carriers to address that because they are very specific needs. There are specific, specific dynamics uh, in different geographies and communities, etc. So we leave that up to the member carriers to address. We are there to enable our member carriers to deliver upon that uh, customer experience that I was referring to. So we're working especially leveraging digitalization and technology to make life easier across multiple touch points uh, in the travel experience because ultimately customers want control of their own destiny. They want it to be effortless uh, when they're traveling and so that's what our mandate is to enable our member carriers. Now in terms of sustainability, again it sort of follows that same philosophy. Our member carriers uh, are all committed to achieving the net zero emissions by 2050, they're all committed to that, and they've all got their own specific uh, sustainability initiatives that they will do best. And so we leave that up to the individual carriers uh, to address that. and then. We focus on enablement and making the customer experience a lot better. So just on the issue of customer experience then, what steps are you putting in place to innovate to make sure that the customer experience is maintained and, and improved for the rest of the year and in the years to come? Yeah, there are so many initiatives at the moment. So the examples for uh, when you're traveling 
uh, with two different airlines or three different airlines in the alliance, we want to make sure that that is as seamless as possible. So right now, for example, we're rolling out seat selection. So you may be able, you'll be, have the ability to select a seat on your uh, on the airline that you have from the outbound, connecting to another airline. Ultimately. What we want to be able to do is give the customer that seamless ability as if they are travelling on one airline amongst multiple airlines because not one airline can serve an entire network and that's the whole premise of an alliance, being able to utilise members uh, to be able to deliver upon that commitment to the customers. So there are multiple different types of uh, initiatives that we're working on along that journey.